My name is Melissa Gargiulo. I am a hospice nurse and I love what I do. I mean, I love, love, love what I do. And I know that sounds crazy, but for me, the joy of helping someone, especially when they're thinking about maybe going on hospice or has just joined hospice, there's just such a, a feeling of joy that goes with helping them through that really fragile time in their life. I know that if you're watching this video, then maybe you're taking care of someone who's beginning to decline and someone has mentioned the word hospice. And that's scary. I mean, that word hospice is a really, really scary word. And that's so unfortunate because hospice is not scary at all. Hospice is about love. If you, if you really think about hospice care, what's going on in your body, if you're on hospice, or if you're not on hospice, what's going on with that disease process isn't gonna change. But if you're on hospice, we help you with those really bad, painful side effects that can go with the disease. We take a really bad situation and we make it better. That's what hospice is about. I know one of the really hard things about thinking about hospice is having to accept that someone you love or maybe even yourself is going to have to pass away. And that is hard. And I have been in a situation, everyone in my immediate family has been on hospice and I've had to make that decision and it's hard. But once you get over that hump, because all of us are going to pass away, none of us get a free ticket on that. But once you get over the hump and you realize how wonderful hospice is, I've not had one person in seven years who's on hospice tell me, oh, I wish I had waited to come on hospice. It's actually exactly the opposite. I cannot tell you how many times I've had a patient or a family member say, Melissa, I wish I'd gone on hospice sooner. I had no idea how much help it is. It is. One of the things that you as a caregiver or a patient is gonna be thinking about is, what's going on in my body or what's going on in this person I love's body that someone had said, hey, you might be thinking, you might start thinking about changing the level of care, getting hospice in. And I know, because I did it too, immediately you probably thought, oh no, not me, I'm not bad, I'm not ready for hospice. And you may not be, and that's okay. Hospice is never pushed on people. But if you think you are, these are some of the things that you wanna look at. How are you feeling? This person that you're taking care of, how are they feeling? Are they beginning to decline? Is it taking longer to get out of bed? Are they having more trouble walking? Are they to the point where they really can't feed themselves? You are feeding them because their brain is starting to fail and they just can't get the mechanics of feeding themselves. Are they making statements like, how long can this go on? I just want to go to heaven and be with my husband or my wife. I'm such a burden on my family. When someone starts saying things like that, then chemically they're changing in their body. Their body is sending messages, I'm declining, I'm getting tired. For me, I call this loss of joy. This for me is one of those really big indicators that someone might be ready for hospice care. Another one is weight loss, and it has to be, it can't be intentional weight loss. I would love to have some weight loss, <laughs> but this is unintentional weight loss. And it happens because maybe someone is so short of breath that they can't eat and breathe at the same time. So they're literally consuming less calories. Or maybe the body is getting so much weaker that it actually can't absorb the nutrients and the calories as much. So this person is probably gonna start losing weight. There also might be falls, and this because the brain is failing and they can't visualize and see things, or maybe the person is just getting weaker. They don't have the strength to lift up their feet so much. Maybe they were walking and then they started falling and now they're in a wheelchair or using a walker, or sometimes they're in a wheelchair and they literally can't even sit up anymore. They have what we call lateral supports. Infections. Someone whose body is beginning to decline and fail, they're so much more susceptible to infections. 
And if you're caring for someone and they have UTIs, that's the abbreviation, it's a urinary tract infection, and they keep getting them over and over, first of all, as the caregiver, this is not your fault. This is not your fault. If they fall, that's not your fault. Someone who falls has the right to fall just like you and I do. So if someone you're caring for falls, do not take it personally, do not beat yourself up. If they get an infection, it's not because you're doing something wrong, it's because the body is getting weaker. The brain is no longer supporting the immune system. Maybe they can't control their bladder and the bowels like they used to. They're wearing depends. Maybe they're not bathing as much. Maybe you can't keep them clean because they're too big or they're fighting you. There's all these reasons why they might not have the hygiene that they did. All of those things can cause infections and it's not your fault. It's just the body's way of declining. It's just a symptom. Maybe you're in and out of the ER or the hospital a lot. A lot of people that have problems breathing, they're in and out of the ER because they get short of breath and they get anxious and they end up going into the ER. All of those things, just an overall decline, weight loss, falls, infections, in and out of the hospital, all of those things are indications that the body is starting to fail. If you're experiencing these things, First of all, realize it's a natural process. This is how our body is designed, to become weaker, to get really gentle sleep, and to pass away in our sleep. This is how we're designed. If you have these symptoms and you need more help, if, it's, if you're the person whose body's declining or you're the caregiver of someone you love who's having these decline, please contact someone with hospice. Something that you don't realize is hospice is free. You have paid for this all of your life. There is no charge to be on hospice. You will have personal nurses coming in. You'll have bath aids. Hospice pays for a lot of medications. They pay for depends. They help you emotionally, spiritually, financially. Everything, everything hospice does is free. It's, it's such a good thing if you can just get over the emotional hump of asking for it. I'm talking to you from my heart. I mean this so sincerely. I totally believe in hospice. If you have any questions, if you think someone might be ready, don't be scared. Asking for information, no one's going to push you. Call Intrepid, there's a number here on the screen. Just ask to talk to someone. I wish you the best of luck and, and thank you for listening to me talk from my heart.